Welcome back to Let's Play DDO Permadeath. Okay, since uh, since last time I have just spent my first point in Shintao. Uh, this guy is going to be a light monk, of course. Uh, much better for soloing than the alternatives. And I got ship buffs, so I have uh, even more uh, hit points now. And I remembered that I meant to be in fire stance at low levels for the extra key. So I fixed that. Although it does make my uh, stunning fist less effective, of course. Later on, I think the uh, wind stance gets you almost as much key as fire because of the extra attack speed. But early on, fire is definitely better. As usual, I'm starting with the uh, level 2 harbor solos, since those are easier than doing anything on Corfos on Hard or Elite. This should uh, get me to level 2, this combined with doing some Cerulean Hills. burning through quite a bit of health here. Let's throw my AC buff, that will help a bit. So, uh, I have been playing lots of DDO since uh, the last uh, solo run that I did, uh, but I've only been playing in groups uh, in the guild. Uh, so I got my druid recently all the way to level 20. I was playing in a group, uh, not a regular group, just uh, people in the guild playing on weekends. Uh, so, uh, I think I started that character around... I think at the time I last lost a solo, and that guy was about level 8. He's been gradually working his way up. That's almost the only character I've played uh, since I was last making videos. Unusual for me to be playing one character so much, but the uh, the guild's been kind of uh, quieter. I think DDO in general has been a bit quieter in the last uh, the last six months or so. Maybe uh, overshadowed with my newer games, but uh, I still think it's a very fun game. I haven't uh, played anything else that uh, could tempt me away from it. Not that I play a lot of MMOs. You cleared the infestation from the southern wing of the crypt. Oh, or, or any other than this one. I've, uh, I've been playing a few other games though. I've been playing uh, playing my way through Baldur's Gate 1. I've been playing uh, uh, Dungeon Keeper. Loads of really old games that I just never got around to playing before. So that's partly what I use my time on. My gaming time, anyway. You hear a massive body moving about on eight spindly legs. The spider's lifeless body crunches under your boots. All right, it's nice and easy there. Mm. 
the other thing I've been doing uh, since I haven't been playing uh, so much DDA. You have searched every area within the Miller's home, save the basement. Is I started playing actual pen and paper Dungeons and Dragons. I've been uh, playing some fifth edition uh, in the last uh, six months or so. So that's been a lot of fun. A bit different from playing DDA, but it's all the same tropes. Actually, the first real Dungeons and Dragons I've played. I've actually been DMing uh, a campaign recently, which is one reason I haven't had so much time for DDA. Uh, these level 2 solos are really easy. Easy XP. Bright lamps litter the basement floor. Someone was trying to quash the lights. The miller has told you the goods meant for the coin lords are in the back room of the basement. A particularly nasty looking iron defender charges forward. <laughs> This is going to be a tough fight at level 1 if your balance isn't good. That guy's quite tough. It used to be a tough fight though, but not really so much now that you get so many hit points at level 1. That makes it a lot safer. You have acquired the Miller's goods. Time to return to the Alright, and some stuff to sell as well. That gets my gold up. Languishing at almost no gold right now, but it will soon be soon be enough that I can buy a decent amount of healing potions. And I picked up a uh, better uh, monk robe that I'll be able to use when I get to level 2. I expect I'll go to... I guess I'll do the other solo quests. The level 3 solos are also pretty safe to do, even with a level 1 character. I'll probably do those next. They're nice and easy. I'll do that in the next video, though. See you next time.